Hello there, it's Maggie the Cheshire Crafter here. It's June and we've got Glastonbury on the telly. I'm tired this week and I've decided that I need something where I can just sit with my feet up and watch the telly and work on my lap tray. And I've brought Christmas in June. I'm going to make some of the Christmas decorations. I did video some at the beginning. Um, I'm going to do the little purple stockings today. Uh, and I'll just show you what I've got. Uh, my friend bought me this lap tray, which is very comfortable for me. I just tag a little plastic bag on the side for my rubbish. And I've got um, white felt. <clears throat> some washi tape. I've opted for this purple washi tape. I've had it years uh, and it just does the job for me. I've got some mother of pearl buttons. Look at the shine on those. I buy these off eBay in 50 to 100s. They're just dyed buttons and these are ideal. And then I've got some satin double sided ribbon. This is 10 millimetres and I buy it uh, 20 metres. This is by, uh, I think it's I thought it was Beresford's, but I'm wrong. No, it's a company called Eleganza. I buy this at, um, oh gosh, what's, I can't remember names very well, can I? That's what I'm struggling with. Uh, Inspirations on the Wirral. It's the floristry suppliers, and I get all my ribbons from there. I've got some really good uh, Gutterman's purple tape. It's 100 metres on my scissors. And I've also got, just to the side of me, some of this really soft, uh, we used to call it K-pop when I was young. What I do is I buy um, ready-to-use cushions no make your own cushions and I open them up and I use the stuffing from the inside of that and I'm just going to sit I'm going to do a, a little blanket stitch around the edge I've started off just by putting some of the washi tape around just below where the buttons are going to sit and I've taken it over the back that's not very straight is it <clears throat> I've taken it over the back and I'm going to start my blanket stitch in an area where I don't want the opening to be. I want the opening to be around about here. So I'm going to start my blanket stitch here. Don't forget, I've got to stuff this. I've got to be able to get my fingers and to get the stuffing right up to here and right into here. So I'm going to start my blanket stitch here. They're very plain on the back. There's nothing on the back. And um, let's see how long it takes me to make one of these and i'm going to sit and watch oh, i don't quite know what's on the telly at the minute we've got paul mccartney on tonight so i'm going to enjoy that tonight and also noel gallagher's angry birds so i'll show you what, I, what they look like when i've done a few to get the template shapes i actually drew around some christmas decorations and i bought those for the shape uh, the hat and scarf set I made my own Christmas stocking shape and I bought some cookie cutters in Lakeland, some are Christmas trees, some are stars, and I'm going to use those. You can use anything as a template just to draw around. And I've cut my ribbons at six inches. I think they might be a little bit too short. I think I'd recommend seven or eight inches. It's not difficult to sew through washi tape. You just need a strong needle. And I've sewn the buttons on, making them very, very secure on the inside. When you consider that this may be going to children, I need to make sure that it's not a choking hazard. And I've sewn on the ribbon on the inside so that it doesn't show through on the back, or well, not much anyway. And they're now very secure. The reason that I put Mother of Pearl buttons on you can see them catching in the light on a Christmas tree or with fairy lights. They gleam and it looks really lovely. Um, the satin ribbon gleams a little bit as well. You can put anything on these. You can put sequins. You can change, you can change the colour of the felt. You can change the embroidery thread. I, I prefer to use cotton. 
um, you can change the colour, you can put sequins on, just make sure that they're sewn very securely. But you can just come up with whatever boosts your imagination. I'm, I am watching uh, Glastonbury and I'm going to tell you that yesterday I recorded Crowded House and uh, I uploaded the video to YouTube and I immediately got a copyright strike and I had to delete it. So I might just include some photographs of them at Glastonbury towards the end of this video. I'm going to carry on sewing now. So when I've got about a one inch break before I finish up sewing the seams, I'm going to stuff it and I'm going to make sure I can get my fingers into all the edges and all the corners. And there, that's finished. I'll just show you the um, depth that I've got there. It's got to be firm enough to hold its shape, but soft enough to be squidgy. Now, what do I do with these when I make them? Well, you'll see that when I put my Christmas tree, I've got some of these on my own Christmas tree. But these are lightweight and these will post out to... Uh, anywhere in the world um we have a, a charity uh that we support which is operation christmas child and that's filling in uh christmas boxes shoe boxes and uh they'll fly them to war-torn countries uh any child would be delighted to receive something like this if you've got nothing just something that you can hold and cuddle i do heart-shaped ones and i particularly would put those in in for those um, these are probably going to go um, to raise funds for the local children's hospice. We've got uh, a number of ways that I can do that. Um, one is, one is um, we have a local charity shop in uh, my village. Uh, as we went past Frodham yesterday, you saw the charity shop in Frodham as well. Um, on eBay they're registered as a charity so i can put i can put them for sale with the profits to the charity and that way ebay and paypal sort out all the funding and just let me know how much i've donated or i'm interested in making a will and uh, that's the charity that i'm going to leave some money to and it might be that if i go along for a coffee i'll take some of these ready made christmas gifts with me and they can either sell them in the shop or give them to the children or to their siblings. I like the idea of that, don't you? I was talking to my brothers the other day about making a will. And I told them that the, the charity that I support here is uh, a children's hospice. And it's for the uh, Chester, the Wirral and Merseyside. And they currently have a hospice on the Wirral. But their intention is to build a second hospice in Liverpool and it's going to be in West Derby and that's where my family came from. And it just feels right that I fundraise for them and that I leave some money in my will to them. I raise for different charities and I'll talk to you about those again soon. I'll just make sure I'll put my needle safe there. Um, I'll talk to you about them again. But for now, uh, this is just an idea of how to fill in some time on a June evening when Glastonbury is on to do something worthwhile that's going to be useful and raise funds for charity. So I hope you enjoyed my little uh, Christmas in June. I'll be doing Christmas in July soon. Come back and see me again soon, won't you? Till then, this is Maggie saying bye for now. See you soon.